When we examine the creation, we see just how thorough God is. He created everything and then he put everything in the proper place, in the proper order. That is such a lesson for us because if we are the children of God and if we are the servants of God, then we will do things in divine order. The contradiction to the creation is the evolution, which suggests a big bang. Well, even if there were a big bang, if there was a big bang, everything fell exactly in place into orbit, just like it's supposed to be. The sun, the moon, the seas, everything fell right into place. So that still indicates the power of the one true living God. And when we think about that and we look at that, then we will know that that same order that divine order is guiding our lives. So we don't have to worry. We don't have to be afraid because God had this plan for the world and the way that things go at the very beginning at creation. So even though we are not to the part of the creation where mankind has been created yet, we see God setting everything in order. It's as if he's building up to the grand finale, which is the creation of mankind. And we're looking at the way that he placed and positioned everything. He put the atmosphere there so that we could breathe. He put the light there so that we could see. He put the vegetation there so that we could eat. And everything is in place. And God is setting the stage. Doesn't that just tell you how much God loves you? God is always mindful of us and he's going before us and he's preparing a way for us so we shouldn't even have to worry because there was a lady at my church that used to say why are we trying to figure out God and already worked it out and I believe that and if we can walk in that and accept that insurance the assurance that God provided for us at creation that we are taken care of and God loves us and no matter what we need God has already provided for us. Welcome back to season two of the Sanctuary Sunday School. I am still excited. Thank you so much for all of the feedback. You have to download the Sanctuary Academy Sunday School Toolkit. There is so much stuff there. I personally designed this myself just for you. Check it out. Download it. Let me know how you like it. And hopefully it will help you in your scriptural studies. This week's lesson, we're still talking about the creation and our subject is creations in sky, sea and land. And we're still in the first chapter of the book of Genesis. And I love studying the creation so much. And there's something about being first. I'm that person that always steps out there and tries to do things, something new, something fresh. So just to know that I serve the kind of God who created an entire world. And I love talking about the first and now. And so last week we talked about the very beginning when the darkness was, the darkness was there. Now we're talking about these lights. There was a greater light and there was a lesser light. And you know, sometimes we take that for granted when we look at the sun, which is the greater light is there, right? And the earth is orbiting around the sun. And then that's how the sun is able to shine on different parts of the earth at the same time. So while the earth is orbiting around the sun, the moon, the lesser light is orbiting around the earth. And this controls our climate. It also affects gravity and it also affects why it's light in the day and why it's dark at night because God knew that we needed rest. And there are some regions in the world where they have six months a day and six months of night. And so God gave us this beautiful, wonderful world with all of these varieties so we can actually live in whatever climate that we want to live in, whatever is more suitable for us. So he thought that through as well. And then we talk about the land, the creations in the land and in the sky and in the sea. And we look at the birds and the way he created the birds so they could fly. And not only that, even mankind took a look at the birds and saw that they were flying. And the airplane is actually designed after a bird, the similar body style and the wings. And in physics, the wings have to be a certain size in order to support and propel and keep an airplane in the sky. And all of that, they learned from God's simple creation of a bird and how he created the bird that he can fly. And then he have the fish that live in the water and the fish can't live outside the water and we can't live underwater. So he kind of put 
everything exactly where it belongs and so that it would do exactly what it's supposed to do. Your birds, most of your birds are not going to swim. Your fish are not going to fly. We're human beings. We walk and we talk and God found a way to give everything its own special place in the world. And when you look at how huge the world is and all of the things that God created in creation, he still created a special place, gave each of us our own domain. And so you look at that and the way that he did that and the, the beasts that live in the land and, and there are certain animals that only eat fruit and then and vegetables, vegetations, and then there's certain animals that eat other animals. We're carnivores, we eat meat and just all of these things and how, you know, if you ever watched the movie, The Lion King, it was very accurate. It talks about the, cir the circle of life and you know, who's at the top of the food chain. In that particular movie, the lion was at the top of the food chain. But you talk about God just setting these everything up so that the world would be provided for. And so now here we are in 2018 and the world has sustained us all of these years. And yes, it's another signs of the time because as we see, natural resources are becoming depleted and human beings are starting to turn on each other. And all of these things are addressed in the Bible as signs of the end times. So I don't care what the lesson is about. You're always going to hear me reference or tell you in some way, shape or form that it's time to get saved. And again, I'm back to that. It is the last and evil days. And it's kind of amazing to be studying about the first days, right? You know, the first, first, second and third days of creation. And we're living in the last days and the world is getting ready to come to an end. And it's not a sad thing. It's a beautiful thing because just think of being that person who has successfully lived your life. Think about this creation. I told you at the beginning, God created everything for a specific purpose. So just think about being that person who fulfilled the purpose that God created you to serve and to be able to leave this world and the Lord can say to you, well done, my good and faithful servant. If God told the birds to fly and they fly, God told the fish to swim and they swim. If God told the trees to produce leaves and fruit and they produced, then if the Lord told me to live right, I'm going to live right. And that is just so powerful. And, and the enemy is raging and he wants to deceive us into thinking that we have to sin in order to get what we want or do the things we want or enjoy life. God did not create anything that he cannot sustain. I'm going to say that again. God did not create anything that he cannot sustain. So in as much as he's the God of the creation, he's a provider for the creation. And all we have to do, if you start to feel discouraged and you start to feel like you can't make it and you don't know what you're going to do and, and you're facing situations that seem impossible, open up your Bible to the book of Genesis and you don't even have to read all the way through the Bible. Just read through the creation and just see the power of God. And you'll know right there, I'm good. I'm provided for. I'm taken care of. God's got me. And it's just a beautiful thing to know that as we struggle and toil through these last and evil days, the God of the creation is still that great and powerful God. He is the Alpha. He is the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He created this world. And when he gets ready, he's going to end this world. And God is taking care of us every day in between. The God of the creation, creations in sky, sea, and land.